Hello and welcome to my quick tour of Brother Canvas Workspace. This tour is for absolute beginners to Canvas Workspace and to the Scan and Cut machine. I'm relatively new to both. I just purchased a Brother Scan and Cut machine at Christmas and only started using it around about February 2018. Recently I took a longer look around the home page and the patterns collections and discovered a couple of things I hadn't realised before, which is what I thought I would share with you today. Here we go from the top. We've got the title, Canvas Workspace. To the right of this title, you can see a little icon. On my page, this indicates that the foiling function can be used because I purchased a foiling starter pack and I've registered it. Then as we move across, you've got your account information, which you can update and change. You've got your projects, which is exactly the same as clicking on the projects tab over here it'll take you to any projects that you've already been working on and that you've saved online we've got log out and we've got the help button the help icon is something that you should really take a look at here you can download a couple of PDFs uh, one's got frequently asked questions, which have got some common problems that people have come across, and it's a PDF that's got answers to some of those problems. And you've got the help PDF. I'm just going to click off here because I've already downloaded the PDF. I really think this is something worth downloading and printing out. It has about uh, 33 pages, I think, so I'm not going to uh, show you every single one but just give you a little bit of a flavour of what it does have. Okay. The next three tabs are the Canvas projects, the My projects and the Pattern collection. We're obviously on the homepage Canvas project tab. You can start a new project by clicking here. Um, if you go on to the My Projects, which is what I said before, this is the one that has your projects on it. I've got it set at small thumbnails at the moment. I really want larger. I could do with tidying it up. I think because I'm a new newbie to all of this, I tend to sort of oversave my projects rather than risk losing anything. So I know I've got odd things just to the side. The final tab that I want to show you is the patterns collection. As you can see here we've got 125 pattern designs and 25 pattern designs. You need to purchase an add-on um, and these are the code numbers for you to get those add-ons in order to be able to unlock this. So if I was to click on that you can see that there's an activate button. I haven't purchased these so I can't activate it but basically you should receive a little card, you'll type in your activation code and then select activate. I'm just going to go back. If I select show all, that shows you what patterns are available exactly in these different pattern collections. They are very, very expensive to buy, and I feel that the patterns are actually pretty basic and simple, that you could probably do these yourself uh, once you get a little bit more familiar, so I don't think that they're worth paying the money personally. But what I do like is they give you ideas, and also if you hit Pattern Collection again, you can see a whole load of other USBs that you can buy, the title of them, and then if you click show all again, it will uh, direct you to, to what patterns are there. On the SVGs, they tend to have photographs of the projects made up, which I rather like. These are little boxes. There are a number of boxes available, freely available with Brother on the home page. And so I think that's about as far as I can go. Again, there's the pattern number underneath. That's the name of the pattern collection if you wanted to purchase it. So I'm just going to get away from all of this and go back to the Canvas Project homepage. Using this page, you can either use the wheel on your mouse to scroll up and down, 
or you can use the slider bar. If you want to see more um, little icons, you can reduce the size of your thumbnails and so you can see more to choose from all in one go. It does take a little time. I don't know whether other people's machines are different to, to load up everything on here. As I say, there are a number of patterns. If we come down here, we've got the filter icon. This allows you to select, be a little bit more selective what kind of projects you want to do. So if I start off with categories, I uncheck select all and I say, right, let's have a look at the gift boxes, select that and OK it. It will separate out most of the gift boxes for me. And as I was saying over the pattern collection, there are quite a number of little boxes that you could just download and adapt. The way you can download them is if you click on the icon, the, the, the image, most of the projects have got a playback video which will take you to a YouTube channel and show you how to make them up. Some of them have got uh, additional pictures front and back or inside and out so there's normally a little arrow on either side. I'll find another one that has the arrows. We've got a recipe PDF. If you download this it's basically the instructions of how to cut it out and how to put it all together. This allows you to download all of the parts directly to your computer. That will go onto the downloads file on your computer as a zip file and then you just open it up um, by clicking the unzip button. If you want to work on this directly now, you can actually click on import parts. It's saying that some of the parts will be imported into the edit screen. Click OK. And I'll just wait for it to load up a second. And that's our pattern. Now you can have this as a gift bag or you could delete these bits that you don't want. Um, we can reduce the size of it and you can turn it around. You can do pretty much whatever you want actually. Uh, we could draw a line and we could separate it and then you could just use just that part if you want on a card design. I can return to my projects by uh, clicking the my projects icon here or I'm just going to go back because I would like to leave this page and go back to where I was. And the other way to filter is if you go back to categories and you click select all, you can type, um, I'm going to type fathers because I was recently looking for some Father's Day uh, projects. This has come up with three projects. There are actually more than three. So if I change my search to father, Oh, it does keep changing every single time. I did actually get uh, a little bit more the last time I did this. This is why I'm not so keen on the filter. Sometimes I feel you have to scroll all the way down to get exactly what you want. So I'm going to delete that because it hasn't been as hopeful as I was thinking. Uh, make sure that select all is selected. OK that. And I'm back on my full list of projects again. The reason I don't like the father's filter, uh, the specific filter, is it missed out dad. So if you wanted a Father's Day project, this is another one that you could choose. Uh, the other one that didn't come up, that has come up previously when I've typed in father, is um, is this Father's Day coupons one here. And this is what I was talking about where you can see some little arrows that will take you left and right. Again, the video tutorial, the instructions, the download, but if you click here you can see that there are actually even a few more little bits and pieces for you to maybe just select on their own. 
The reason I wanted to pick this is because I know for a fact that a lot of these images are built into my scan and cut. So it works both ways for you to download a file. You can download um, directly to your machine, your computer, by clicking on the laptop icon. If you right click your mouse in Save Link As, you can download it directly to a file or a USB stick. Uh, sorry, a folder or a USB stick. If you click on the Scan and Cut icon, if you have an older, um, a younger machine, a newer version, then it has the Wi-Fi facility for you to be able to transfer files over the Wi-Fi. Um, if I I've clicked on that and it said that the transfer is ready so I can close now but I need to open up my sh machine uh, which is in another room and it tells you when you've opened up your machine you press the home button and you've waited for your blade to jiggle about and reset itself then you just press this uh, icon here and what you've just sent for download will appear on your machine and then you can do whatever you want to do with it there so finally, if we uh, look at the foot of the Canvas Workspace page, we can see the information bar that helps you to be notified of the latest news and fixes and updates. So I hope that this has helped you to have the confidence to move around your machine and uh, your Canvas Workspace. And all I can say is happy crafting and thank you for watching.